family deliverance. Yes, yes. You're going to pray for your family. Somebody say, I stand for my father's house. I stand, I stand for, for my father's, father's house. Oh God, the answers prayer. Oh God, the answers prayer. Shake my foundation. Shake my foundation. Let doors be open. Let doors be open. Let chains be broken. Let chains be broken. Clap your hand and pray for Let your name be glorified. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There is a song I want to sing, and I know that it's only a few people that will know that song. And that will test how long you have been a Christian. I have seen sin, the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. I have seen. I was coming this morning. I heard that I heard this song in the spirit, and I was singing in my car. And my people like this song is as it's a long time song, and it has weight. It's a song of victory. Can you sing it with a loud voice? I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Victory. When you go home, sing this song. Sing it to your problem. Tell that problem you have seen it falling. Did you hear? Yes, sir. Now we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Now lift up your hand and tell him thank you. Thank you, Father. Father. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you, thank Jesus. You. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Be standing for two minutes. Judges chapter number six. Be standing for two minutes. Judges number six. We'll be reading from just 15 to 17. I could have loved us to read from verse one, but because of time. One, um, we're reading 15, 16. 15 to 16, just, okay, let's take it to 17, it could be better. Can we read now? You can look at the screen if, if you have not opened your Bible. And
And he said unto him, Oh my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? This is Gideon talking. That's why I said we wanted us to start from the beginning. But I want, I know you know the story anyway. And he said unto him, Oh my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Malasi. I am the least in my father's house. Sister. And the Lord said, and the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianite as one man. Continue, sir. 17. Can we read together number 17? And he said unto him, if now I have found grace in thy sight, then show me the sight that thou tasted with me. And he said unto him, If now I have found grace in thy sight, then show me the sign that thou takest with me, that thou have talked with me. me. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'll be speaking briefly like the message we have been on since this month. Oh, Lord, intervene in my family. Oh, Lord, intervene in my, in my family. family. Say like your minute. Oh, Lord, intervene in my family. Your voice is too low. Oh, Lord, intervene in my family. Now you can say that. I've told you so many things about intervention. We have talked about intervention, getting to a point whereby you have nothing to do again, then you see God showing up himself. Is it true? We have got to a point where, where there is no way suddenly God show up, God intervene. I think I've taught you so many things about God's intervention. Is it true? And I give you so many examples concerning how God intervenes. And I also told you that God intervenes when all we know has finished. Is it true? And I also tell you that if you still know another thing to do, God will not intervene. And why God have not intervened in some certain situation is because you have alternative. Did I say so? I thought I have some student here. Let me hear that amen better. So, we'll be saying something in this matter. That what we read is talking about a certain people against the Israel. And the Bible called them the Midianite. And who are the Midianites? There's something I saw when you read from verse 1 in chapter 6 and verse number 1. The Bible said that the Midianites used to come after the Israelites have sown seed and their seed are growing. And before the harvest, they will come and they will destroy all the harvest. They will make sure that the Israelites are in hunger, that they, they are in famine, that nothing good will come out of them. They are troubled to them. Can I talk to somebody here? This is how some family is. When you think you are going up, suddenly something spoiled what you are building up. But can I talk to somebody? There is anointing that I came with. I name above every other name. Every family here represented by the cause of heaven. Who shall ever come in against your children? Any power destroying your heaven. Let that power be consumed. Let the power be consumed. Let the power be consumed. Let the power be consumed. Was ever frustrating your labor? Was ever frustrating your effort? Was ever frustrating your children? Was ever frustrating your wife? Frustrating your business? I stand and I prophesy. By the name of Yeshua Amasia, let your power be frustrated. Let your power be frustrated. Let your power be frustrated. Anyone planning to frustrate you? In the name of prophet Otani. Let your power be frustrated. You don't serve a God call. You serve a living God. He is sent yesterday. He is sent today. And it is sent forever. He God be for us. He will be against us. God is on my side. Anointing is on our side. The Holy Ghost is on our side. 
Jesus of Hand has set fire for you. You sit there. And Gideon said, Where is the God that has shown miracles to our father in Egypt? And they camped against them and destroyed the increase of their earth till thou come unto Gaza and left none sustenance for Israel, neither sheep, nor ox, nor axe, everything destroyed. The Midianite was fully engaged in destruction, making sure that Israelites are frustrated. Did you understand me? The family is here. You think that God hates you. God did not hate you. But everything you put on is not working. No, there's a midnight. Why are the midnight? These are the works of the devil. These are wicked men and women that stays in the family. These are witches and wizards that never love progress. I'm not talking to somebody here. There are people in the family. If you grow, they are not happy. If things are not working, they are happy with you. If you are crying, they are happy. But if things are working for your children, they are not happy. But let me say something in a hurry. Within seven days, if I be a man of God, let your family experience the intervention of Almighty God. Jehovah will judge your enemies. Let the, let the God we serve intervene. Let him intervene. Let Jesus intervene. Let it affect your family. Let it affect my family. Let it affect your family. Let it affect my family. I prophesy. May the Almighty God walk into your house. Raise your hand and shout, I believe it. I believe it. Surprise me there. The Bible said, and God sent a prophet. Prophet came before an angel. The Bible said that the prophet came and tried to make them understand that something never never take place. That something happened. And the angel came in verse 15. The angel came and the angel discussed with him and said. <laughs> You will be the one to, to deliver Israel. Gideon was afraid. He said, I'm too small. Can I give you my biography? Gideon stated his biography. He said, you know what? In my family, we are poor. It's not enough to say we are poor. Just listen. But I am the least. In my father's house, I am the least. Can I talk to somebody here? Eh? It's not about your number in the family. It's not about the family you came from. Jesus was born in manger. But Jesus changed the story of the whole world. I'm not talking to somebody here. In John chapter 1, in verse number 45, there's a story that came. He came to Nazareth. The Bible said that when he came, he came to Nazareth. And the Bible said, the Philip came and he said to Nathanael, We have found Messiah, which the, 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 the Moses spoke, which all the prophets talk about. He said, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? He said, eh, Is that what you said? Come and see. There is something that will happen in your family. Hey! I prophesy to somebody. Somebody's family, yeah. Somebody will emerge from your family. God will raise a voice from your family. God will raise a rich man from your family. God will raise a 
you to be your family. God will raise a millionaire in your family. God will raise a, 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 a millionaire in your family. Messiah will come from your house. A prophet will emerge from your house. An apostle will come from your house. A president will come from your house. Raise your hand and shut up, believe it. Balama Haka, a Gagola Biana. Ah, are you still here? <laughs> he said, You don't know me. I know you're an angel because you came, I just see you, but you don't know our family. Some of you are like that. Some of you, even you yourself, you are doubting. Do you sure that something good can still come out of my family? My friend, with God. All things are possible. Forget how you are now. That is not how you are in the spirit. Oh my God. Can I do something here? Do I have students here around here? Listen. Listen. Some of you, can I tell you something? This is not who you are. You are better than what you are looking at. You have children that will rule this world. So you are not a failure. If you think that your voice have not been heard, but listen to me, there's a voice inside of you. Did you hear me? <laughs> so it's not over. Say, how will people know my father's house? Don't worry. If they can hear Jesus, they will hear. Uh, 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 you're not getting me. <laughs> the Bible said, he was born in a manger. <laughs> this is somebody that was born in a manger. That today, every village has his name. Every village has his name. But he was born in a manger. And he's not, he's not there again. He was born there. Don't allow your background to represent you. Can I talk to you? Stop representing your background. That is not who you are. There's something better inside of you. So the angel make... <laughs> Make him to understand. Listen to me. He said, you are a mighty man of valor. Gideon, you are a mighty man of valor. But Gideon said, no, you don't know our father's house. If you know our father's house, our father's house, our father's house cannot pay our school fees. Let me, let me do some warning to some children here. Listen to me. That they could not pay your school fees does not make you foolish. Uh, I know some of you are sitting down now. You will tell me the reason why I am like this, I did not make it, is because I did not go to school. You are wrong. What did I say? You are wrong. Because there are people also that went to school that have not made it. I know some of you have one reason. My father died when I was small. My mother died when I was small. I am an orphan. That is why my life is orphan. That is why you are living in orphanage home. You better you carry your mattress and leave that place. That's why things are not working. My father died a long time ago. My mother died a long time ago. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a story. It's a story. It's a story. You are a mighty man of valor. You are not fake. Can I tell you something? Something good can still come out of you if you want. It can come out of you. Can I tell you? You can start a generation. You can start a You can change the generation you met. Let me warn some people also. Don't leave your father's house the way you met it. My father was poor. Now so I have to be poor. You know, it's in our lineage. God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. If you don't beat the, the record of your father, you are a poor man. He said, I did try. I did try. I did try. You have to beat their record and set up a standard. He said, we are poor in Malase. The angel said, no, you are a mighty man of valor. That is who you are in the spirit realm. You have not checked it. 
That's who your children are in the spirit realm. They have not taken. They are not dummy. Say, all my children are low though. They don't know book. They don't know book. Listen to me. There is something God wants to do with them that is not with book. Yeah. You don't believe, eh? So, beating that boy every day, trying to kill him, will not solve the problem. But go and pray. Lord, if this sin is not your will, take it from him. Do you understand me? But in terms of destiny, destiny can manifest without what you know. Did you hear? Yeah. The one you even think that is stupid in school can be the one that will save your entire life. That will save your destiny, save the whole house. So destiny of your children is not in your hand. Am I talking to somebody here? It's not in your hand. But I'm not telling you now not to take them to school. No, take them to school. Let them go to school. But trying to tell me that you, because you do not go to school, that is why you are poor. No, that's not why you are poor. The reason why you are poor is because you want to be poor. You don't get it. You're not clear. If you want to be poor, be poor. If you want to be rich, be rich. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. He said, We are the least. I'm coming. Oh, he said, We are the least. Where? In Malase. So, in our family lineage, <laughs> we are poor. We are the least. For me, I am the last born. I, we are the least. So, there is poverty. So, he was talking and he challenged the angel. He said to the angel, He said, Where was this God? They told us about that delivered our fathers in the land of Egypt. Where is he? Why have he not come to deliver us now? Where is he? Where is he? Ladies and gentlemen, in Ezra chapter 3, when they cried to God, eh, he delivered them. He delivered them. He sent Moses and they were delivered. Now, when they are now with the problem of the Midianite, they cried to God also and God sent an angel. To deliver them. So there is cause intervention. Everything Israelite does. God is always with them. That's what I want to tell you. You are spiritual Israeli. So don't say you are alone. God is always. I thought I would hear it. Today. God is always. God is always. Personalize it. Don't be us. God is always. Shout it. Get it inside of you. Are you following me here? And God intervened. And God intervened. The media not thought they have taken over them. But God intervened. There are cases in life where you think that it is over. That what is worrying you will never let you go. You keep thinking about the problem that has no solution. You feel like dying. You feel like giving up. You feel like, you feel like, what is all this thing? They say, pray, you are prayed. They say, so seed, you are so seed. You look like you are bribing God. Yet, nothing happened. Ladies and gentlemen, God is waiting for the right time. You are not following me. God is waiting for what? The right time. When the right time of God come. <laughs> Can I tell you, nobody can change the mind of God. When in cafe, stories change, lives change. Nobody becomes somebody. Life change, you see a turn around. People you never mean that can become somebody. Suddenly, you see them becoming somebody. Good example, people like me. People like me. Somebody called me from Lagos one day. He said, I watch, I watch you. I followed you up. I said, thank you. I said, I'm surprised. I said, what is surprising you? He said, I never knew that you will become what you are now. They know the right hand for hate. What God will do for you is not written in your forehead. Am I talking to somebody here? So don't tell me you are taking me. And stop checking people. Because you are not their God. 
when they were created, you were not there. Did you hear me? Believe God. He has everything in his hand. He can change your story. And make everything right. Are you following me here? But we are very busy checking people what they will become. My friend, you cannot get what they will become. Somebody can be in, in, in school and waiting to become a lawyer and end up a comedian. It's a lie. Somebody can be as a doctor, end up an apostle and holding a microphone like me. Somebody can be doing business, end up at this altar like Apostle Manel. So stop checking who somebody wants to become. Say, I know that this is my daughter. We become a doctor, medical doctor. You end up reverend doctor. It will shock you. <laughs> Are you feeling me here? So stop checking. But all I'm trying to say, please, your background is not your problem. Stop checking your background. Like he said, we are poor in Malasi. Stop checking your background. Your background is not your problem. Stop looking back. When you look back, you see your background. Look front. Front is the best place. And front is your future. Your future can produce all your supply. Am I talking to somebody here? Put your hope on the future. Remove your eye from what, where you are coming from. Where you are coming from cannot take, to, take you to where you are going. It is only the force on the future that can draw you to the future. Uh, it's like I'm talking to myself today. I so said it's only the force on the future and the picture of the future that withdraws you to your future. Not, not what happened before. Not your past. So change your mindset and focus. Are you following me here? So, number one reason God intervened. God saw that these people are in pain in the hand of their enemies. Number one. God saw that these people are in pain in the hand of their enemy. Called Midianite. So there are so many of you sitting down now. You are in pain in the hand of your enemies because of what you are passing through, what your enemies have caused in your life. But hear me, hear me carefully. That after today's service, whatever you has spoiled in your family, it shall be repaired. Amen. It shall be repaired. It shall be repaired. It shall be repaired. It shall be repaired. Sit down. People lost there, are you hearing me? It shall be repaired. No matter what you are passing through. No matter what you are passing through. No matter what they are did. So God saw it. And God intervened. He said, no, enough is enough. These people have suffered much. Enough is enough. How can you now enter their farm? Destroy the cross, then enter the, 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 where they kept their animals. Kill all of them. They rendered them useless. And they began to look for food to eat. That is what is happening to some of us. They have made some of us to be begging for food. To be begging for food. As you are sitting down, some of you, you beg for house rent, you beg for children's school fees, you, beg, you also. And nothing is happening from your hustle. It's not your fault. Can I tell you something? There's a midnight, a midnight that need to die. <laughs> it is turned it down. Mm. When the angels spoke to him, the angels told him that there is an altar in your father's house. If you read from verse 20, there is an altar in your father's house that needs to be put down. The altar of power that is standing in your father's house. He said, when you pull it down, there's a great tree that you are going to fall. He said, use that tree to raise another altar that will represent.
get me? Am I talking to somebody here? There is an altar in the family. Where there is an altar, a witchcraft altar, which is altar, a gothic altar, village altar. Am I talking to somebody here? Family altar. Where it is in the family, people don't grow up. When people grow up and come down, but I pray for somebody here. Anything that makes you to rise and fall, let it not happen again. It's an altar of failure, altar of setback, altar of disappointment, altar of non-achievement. He said, bring down the altar. Bring down the altar. The Bible said, at midnight. <laughs> at when? <laughs> he went and he took ten men. The Bible said, he did it in the night so that the king's men will not see him. His father's house will not notice it. So he took them on aware. At midnight, he bring down the altar of Ba and set it on fire. Bring down the altar of Ba of Ba and set it on fire. And raise an altar for God before they wake up in the morning. As they wake up in the morning, they could not do anything. And when they were against him, his father said, Let's leave this battle. If Ba be God, let him fight for himself. Let him fight for himself. And that was the deliverance of the Israelites. One man brought the change. Listen to me. You are sitting down here. You are representing your father's house. There are others that have been fighting you. Some, some people came from family where poverty fights them. Some people came from family where rising and falling is just their nature. Some people came from family where marriage is not sweet. Some people came from family. Can I tell you something? We call it pattern. Family pattern. Some people came from that type of patterns. Polygamous pattern. This is an altar. An altar. There are people here. You must borrow. There's no how. Whether you have enough, you go see borrow join. So it's in your family. Your father used to borrow. Your mother used to borrow. So even when you have enough, you will still borrow. But it's an altar. It's an altar that needs to be broken in these days. It needs to be broken in this service. It's an altar. It needs to be broken. It needs to be uprooted. And the Bible said, What says that is not planted by my father? Is it thou shall ye uprooted? It needs to be uprooted. It needs to be uprooted. You have not thought of it. Why is it that what happened to your mother is happening to you? Why is it that what happened to your father is happening to you? No, it's a pattern. But the altar needs to come down. The altar needs to come down. Am I talking to somebody here? The altar needs to come down. When the altar comes down, the altar of God will be risen. I thought amen will be there. Altar. Altar. Altar have made so many people to be small. Altar. I've made so many people to be small. Altar have made so many families to be small. If you ask them, there's a lot in your family. They say no. They are not aware that something was, was made before they were born. Something was there by their forefathers. And it's demanding for their progress. Eating from their, from their prosperity. And they are crying. What have I done to deserve all this suffering? No, it's not your fault. There is something in your lineage that you have not handled. But we'll handle it today. How can you bring in money? Put it to a business. You can't give account. Suddenly, business finished. Money finished. Some of you, you have touched money in millions. Yet, you are begging for one naira. Why are you begging for one naira? And you can't give account of the money. I've met people. They will tell you their story. Pastor, I started that business with four million naira. I started the second one with two million naira. This present one now with ten million naira. Yet, nothing to show up. It's not your fault. There's an altar somewhere. Can I talk to somebody here? What happened to your market? Why did it not grow? Why, why is money missing? Why is the shop like against you? Why did you come to your market and you are shorting? Who took your money? Have you discovered that even you yourself, you are too holy to miss money like, okay, I'm a drunker. That is why the money is losing. No, yet you are not a drunker. Neither are you clubbing. You are not clubbing. But still, 
You can't give account of all your money. You just keep losing money. Last, last, you can even you can even close the shop, close the business. Where is the money that they give to you? Where is the money that you have risen? Where is the money the bank gave to you? Where is the money that you con do contribution and you collected? Where is the money? Where did it enter? Where is the money your brothers gave to you? Where is the money your parents gave to you? Am I talking to somebody here? So it didn't happen or not to you. The enemy, the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are not in pulling down strongholds. These are strongholds. These are strongholds. Utter. Utter. Utter make a man that even know God to be small. Oh my God. See, I've seen men of God full of the anointing. Eh? Full of the anointing. Lay hand on the sick. The sick recover. <laughs> we tell somebody you will prosper this week. The person will prosper this week. But the man of God is begging for food. And the man now pray. Pray. Too much prayer. And the Bible said that Joshua, the son of Zechariah, was found with, with fifty rag. Was clothed with fifty rag. Yet he was a priest. How did he come? How did he come? A man of God is begging for food. They have no food to eat. No. There is an altar of poverty in his father's house. That said, our people don't get money. You can live long, but you can't eat food. I don't know whether you understand. You can live long, but don't drive good car. You can live long. But you don't live in a luxury house. You don't buy good cars. If you want to buy a car, you must buy a Audi, old model. You must look poor. Yesterday we were coming from somewhere, me and my PA and my driver. As we were passing along third area. Is it third area? The second. Second from uh, New Benin. One Audi, Audi Red, was coming on his own. It's a private car. And um, those boys that used to hold Taizi people, they just hijacked the motor. The young man was explaining, it's not Taizi. They say, you know, it's Taizi. They, <laughs> they say, you pay money. <laughs> it's not Taizi. Oh, it's not Taizi. It's a private car. They say, no, calm down. They push him, they push him out of the car. He said, Guy, you know, all of us are guy, man. This is not, not before this. Thing. I won't pick up something and say that lie. Give us money for tickets. <laughs> so, and I asked the people, this time, So now, if you have this car, you are a Tazi driver. Is this motor made for Tazi people? <laughs> you, see where, you see where life can reduce somebody to? I don't know whether you understand. So there are people in life that life has reduced them to some certain levels which they are not supposed to be. But because there is a landmark in their family that we don't pass this stage. Nobody go across this level. I'm not talking to somebody here. It becomes a problem to you and you are trying but nothing is happening. You can't break the record. You can't do what others are doing. Once you try to move, something holds you down. But let me pray for you before I will go further. If you are among this type of people, that something hold you, hold your family. In the name of Jesus, you will cross the line. Amen. You will cross the line. Amen. You will cross the line. Amen. You will do what your family have not done. You will do what others have not done. You will do what others have not done. Let me tell three people around you, I'm a record breaker. I'm a record breaker. I am 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 a record breaker. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down.
Number two, how did God intervene in the family? I'll show you something. Most time, God intervene. Intervene because he found an intercessor. Did you hear what I just said? Most time, when God intervene, God found an intercessor in the family. And began to change life of the family. Can I tell you something? You can be shining now and not know who, who made this so in your family. Uh, you are not fair. You are not. The breakthrough in your family may not be you that caused it. Somebody did what? Somebody prayed. Somebody was interceding for the family. Suddenly, one small boy began to make money. One small girl, breakthrough came. The other person married. There's a breakthrough, a breakthrough. Can I tell you something? There's one thing about intercession. When you are interceding, it may not start from you. I thought you would understand me. When you are interceding for your family, the breakthrough of the family may not start from you. <laughs> but I pray for you. May it start from you too. God, look for those that are interceding when they see their heart that this is not about selfishness. This is not about you. This is about my father's house. This is about my family. Suddenly, God intervened in the days of men and brothers began to change. Sisters began to marry. Life began to change. Things that are hot and, and high began to come down. Things begin to walk. And, and the Bible said, He walked for those that love God. All things for good for those that love him it takes love to intercede because if you love your family you intercede for your family so God is looking for those that will be praying for their family and let him step in and change their situation the problem we have nowadays is selfishness everybody is praying for yourself oh Lord change my life oh Lord change my life you don't know that your problem is family problem and this is the reason why Joshua have to pick his household and say, for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. And to come to that dimension and say to yourself, for me and my household. There are some prayers you used to be praying. You, 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 some people used to pray. You just want to be better than your brother. How can you be praying that type of prayer? I want to be better than my brother. No! If you are better than your brother, they go suck you, you tire. Uh, you don't know. Eh? Oh Lord, let me be better than my brother. Give me money so that my brothers will know that I have arrived. My friend, if you arrive, you go back home. The transport will carry you around. If we carry you, go back. Because you arrive on your only, only you that arrived. My friend, pray, pray. And family prosper. If your senior brother is making it, your, 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 your other brother is doing well. That of your sister is doing well. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody go there in house. I'm, if I call you, I will not ask you for money. If you call me, you will not ask me for money. We will be in good terms. I don't know whether you understand this. Thing. That is the best prayer for you to pray. Lord, I pray for my family. Help everybody. That does not mean that I cannot help anybody. But there's a prayer point. Lord, bless them. Bless them. Bless them. Bless my senior brother. Bless him so that he will not fall and be looking for help. Bless him. Bless my brother. Bless my sisters. So that when they stand, they will not be looking for help. Bless me because I don't want to beg them. I mean, I won't beg. Can I tell you something in this life that I hate most? I believe you, if you, if you started ministry with me together, I hate begging. I don't like begging. I don't like it. You see, begging police. This document just expired now. I beg. I don't like them. I don't like begging. Begging to me it look like very shameful attitude. Yeah. That is why when I was poor, I can sleep without eating. 
I know you will not like it, but I used to do it. I only make sure that my children have eaten. Then for me and my wife, we we'll just we don't know, we don't have the attitude. And another thing I used to do when I was poor, for me to be poor, and for me not to eat anyway, any store I know, go collect. Because I go collect credit. I'll go feed my children. Did you understand me? Then I will not pass that area again. I think it's a sin. It's not, it's not a sin, it's an idea. <laughs> Don't worry. If you, are, if you have not passed through that stage, you will not pass it. But for we, we know, we understand poverty. In this beginning, I suffer, sir. Yeah, I suffered though. I suffered. That was why when Papa died at the front of BIU, how many of you know Papa? He says uh, he has a, a food stocks, uh, food stocks uh, shop. Front of BIU, you know him. Papa, the Igbo man. Uh, when he died, I, 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 spend, I spend money. I spend money. I spend money to my satisfaction, what I could able to do for them. You know why I do that thing? I used to collect something from Papa. And Papa would understand that I was lying. So Papa was my partner in crime. I would buy something from his shop. I said, put this thing. Put this fish too. And Papa would be running around gathering things. He said, do you have beans? If you don't ask me, I would like to say no. I said, no. I said, yeah, we don't have uh, this thing. Uh, we don't have beans. He said, how many rubber? I said, one. One. What of rice? Two. Papa will finish. Papa said, six thousand naira. I said, okay. After Papa will gather the thing, I will carry the line up. Papa said, it's six thousand. No. I said, I know now. I know. If I come in out tomorrow, I balance you before I pass. Ask me where I'm passing to. No where. where? <laughs> <laughs> Papa will say, okay, now, Pastor, no problem. I'll just move from front of BIU, you come back of here. I was living down this side. I'll bring Mama say, my wife say, I'm, I did buy this one as I did buy. Now, bring, bring. Bring. <laughs> you say, you know, pay. Okay, what would I use to pay? You're asking me wrong question. Go and cook. Then my wife will start cooking. I tell you, front of BIU, eh? Hey, I will not pass there again. <laughs> Maybe my mistake, you know the mistake? Maybe I went to see this uh, Tony now, my brother. I went to see him in his shop. Then I now enter motor from Ring Road. Then I enter motor, I don't have a car. I went to Amado from Ring Road. They will now come and drop you straight to. Oh my God. <laughs> As we are passing in front of her, Papa shop, Papa will not see me. Then I say, I'm coming out, coming down. So when I'll drop at the front of here. I will not use my, I will not come by myself, report myself. Okay. My, my pastor, I do not see you since. Very busy, you will not be smarting. Very busy. Very busy. As I know, this work of God. You people are always busy. Inside my mind, I say, for, for where? <laughs> now poverty, they worry me. <laughs> so, the day Papa catch me wrong, he say, they go, I know they get as things there for you. But the pastor Emmanuel, things go change. And they see say go better for you. I say, amen. Then, with that prayer, he prayed for me. I'll be coming every day, but I will not pay. If you see me every day, I will not pay. I don't have money now. So the best thing is to be reporting myself every morning. I come to his shop every morning to make sure that his mind is uh, until that food we finish. Then I now begin to plan where again. There's Mama Jennifer. He's, he's on that corner where our church was before. Then I'll hit that shop. Bam. Mama Jennifer will put everything again. Bam. I'll start following like this. Oh my God. You will not be poor. Ah, you will not be poor. 
you, you, you will not understand. You will not be poor. See, Gideon said, our family is poor. Our family is poor. You will not be poor. It's not good to be poor. It's not good to be poor. I, I tested poverty. I saw in Benin here from Lagos. I returned. Coming here, I saw poverty with my eyes. Poverty do me like this. I suffered it. Suffered it like this. I can't even pay for my wife to make her. Yeah. I can't pay. So the next thing, Mama will just be tiny. I'll just look at this. Thing. <laughs> but there's something that is inside me and my wife. My wife will just turn and say, It's a man of God. You know, at times my wife can talk something and make somebody face. Man of God. Yeah, you know you're a pastor. I said, I know now. <laughs> Say, don't worry, things will change. See, person, where are they go borrow something called give me a cook? Can they tell me say things go change? I say go change, sir. But there is hope that I have that I am still alive. The Bible said that David encouraged himself in the Lord. Listen to me. Have you heard him when he said, My soul, praise the Lord? Have you heard David? Why is he talking to his soul? He's in, he's in trouble. When David is in trouble and his, his soul is troubled, he will not by himself, he will not calm his soul. He said, My soul, praise the Lord. My spirit. Don't worry, you sing it another day. Just sit down. Don't worry, come down. You sing it another day. But I know you you understand me. So there are times you have to just talk to your soul. Say, calm down. Things will work. You encourage yourself. You don't need to kill yourself. It's a season. It's a season. Pray for your brothers. Pray for your sisters. The day prayer we God will answer you, like Job 42. If you study from verse 10, the Bible said Job prayed for his friends and God restored him. The Bible said Job prospered because he prayed for his friend. What we have nowadays in Pentecostal is the prayer of what? Selfishness. Me, 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 me. Lord, bless me. Lord, change my story. Bless me. My friend, pray for your people. Pray for your family. Pray for your friends. Lord, bless my friend. Can I tell you, I was talking to somebody yesterday. He's a medical doctor. I said to him, I said to her, I said, leave the prayer. Stop praying against your enemies. Pray for helpers. Pray for people that will bless you. There's, a, there's, there's how to pray. Lord, bless those that will bless me. The blessing may not come through you direct. But you have to pray for somebody to be blessed that will remember you. Am I talking to somebody here? Life is about connection. It may not come direct through you. But somebody that is blessed can change your life. Pray for your brothers. Pray for your sisters. Stop having enemy within yourself. Pray for them. When you need them to pray, Lord, bless my brother. Bless my sister. When they are all blessed, ladies and gentlemen, your problem reduced. If only he is blessed in the family, I tell you, they will suck your money. They will suck your money. You know what? They will call you a ritualist. Your brother can walk to you and say, you use my star. Meanwhile, he said, did not use his own. He said, he used my star. Because things are not working for him. Pray for people. Pray for your brothers. Intercede for them. Intercede for your sisters. Pray for them. If you are found faithful in Christ, pray for them. Pray for your family. Pray that so things begin to happen. Pray for your sister that her children prosper. So they will not be attacking you. They will not need from you again. When God settles everybody, nobody will be against you. Am I talking to somebody here? 
I believe I'm talking to family today. It's a family service, right? Uh -huh. Pray for them. How few minutes? Pray for them. Intercede. Don't be kneeling down just for your sake. No. Don't be kneeling down just for your sake. Pray for them. Pray for them. I can't imagine like my elder brother called me on phone now. Say, uh, I'm in trouble. Give me one million naira. I know it's better than one million naira. I don't know what they understand. And I can't imagine like my younger brother calling me and say, I need 500,000 and I'm down now. Things are not working. So no, it's better than the 500,000. I don't know whether you understand. It's prayer. Lord bless everybody. Yeah. And I also know that from them, they cannot even hear like, I'm calling them on phone. Please help me. Help me. Help me. Oh, help me. Like that woman inside Facebook. Help me. You will not hear it. 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 Ah, no. You know, I will not be calling my sister and say, help me. Oh, I, want to, I want to borrow me money. No. 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 I've left that stage long time ago. Long time ago. In prayer. You have to pray and live there. Pray yourself out of poverty. Pray yourself out of poverty. He said, my family is poor. No, my family is not poor. Take yourself out of it. In prayer, intercede. Once you begin to intercede, God intervene. He show, he show forth. You begin to see your brothers are doing well. Your sisters are beginning to do well. Your brother's children begin to do well. Your sister's children begin to do well. It's because of your prayer. It's because of your prayer. Stress in the family began to reduce. Do you know what it means like somebody's grandfather die, grandmother, or even your parents as they old, they die. And it's only you that is rich. My brother, and only you go bear a move. All of us who are so close who will come. But you, you pay the money, you bear it. If you finish the barrier, we will follow you, share the property. Because she will not allow you not to bury your father well. Because you have connection now. And only you, you only you that is rich. That will stay under you now. You bury our father. You bury our father for us. But if all of us are doing well, my friend, if you put your calopy, we will put our calopy. Well, I don't know whether you understand. If you block this side, we will block the other side. Then people will now know that this family is. Am I talking to family here? Yeah? I, I saw, listen to me, I'm not praising uh, Beria. But I saw something for like four days. When we were leaving the hospital concerning my son. I was on, on, Wednesday, on Wednesday, they started setting that in Ari. On Wednesday. The. the uh, uh, a, a very big field around the GRU Air Force field. Somebody rent it. They use three days, I mean four days. Three days to peg uh, what do you call that thing? Tent. Uh, four days. They are pegging tent. People pegging it were sleeping there. Pegging the tent. Turning it to a house. They want to do burial. You think say that they beg for money? Huh? You think say they, they share money that everybody could they run around? Oh, they share 200. They shot you. I don't know where I go go. I don't know where I go go. I don't know where I go go. But then my church go borrow me now. Everybody is in order. May God bless you. Look at you, the way you answered. May God bless you. Amen. The day they will call family meeting concerning money, I say you go there among them. Hey! Ah, I prophesy to you. I receive it. Anywhere they call meeting for money, you will not have, you will not be afraid to answer. Amen. You will not be afraid to answer. Amen. You will not be afraid.
afraid to answer. Amen. Let me hear that payment like thunder. Amen. Sit there. Sit there. Say after me, I pray for my brothers. I pray for my sisters. I pray for my sisters. I pray for my friends. I pray for my friends. Lord. Lord. Bless them. Bless them. I pray for my sons. I pray for my sons. I pray for my daughters. I pray for my daughters. Lord. Lord. Bless them. Bless them. Amen. Do you know what it means if your children are rich, they are doing well? Huh? Do you know what it means? Do you know the glory in the house? Huh? Do you know what it means to return from Paris and your ticket is down for Canada? Like a woman. Three people born at the same time. How you feel, Anana? Huh? If, you are, if you are being traveling, you understand the inside plane. You see some old women with their passport. They don't even know how to speak Bini. Only what you are hearing is EA. And it's moving from Canada, America. My picking both for America. My picking both for Canada. EA just the worker. Why? Children are doing well. Do you know? Do you know? How that woman will feel. Do you know the joy that will make her to stay alive? Eh? Pray for your children. Pray for your children. That God should bless them. God should settle them. Did you hear me? I saw one year in Cyprus when I was going to London. I saw, I saw her. She carried. Uh, uh, inside Plano, she defined where toilet today. My piki, the toilet is one good piece. I called to ask myself. <laughs> I said, As a God, they bless people, sir. This one now, they demand for her. Come and rest. What do you want rest for? Just come rest. Come rest now, our mama. And as she comes back to Benin, another person can request for her. I want EA to come and rest in France. EA keep resting until she will rest in peace. And rest well. And rest well. Let me prophesy to every woman here. If you're, a, if you're a woman, put your hand on your breast. Let me prophesy. In the name of Yeshua Amashia, from today, your labor will not be in vain. Amen. I prophesy to your children unborn and the one that are with you, they shall prosper. Amen. They shall prosper. Amen. Your children will 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 prosper. Amen. I speak to you. You will not die before your testimony. Amen. You will not die before your testimony. Amen. Seated. I know all the men are not happy. All the men, stand up. Put, put, your, put your hand on your head. All the men, put your hand on your head. Say my labor. Men, be loud. Say my labor. My labor. You will not be in vain. You will not be in vain. My school fees. My school fees. Will not be in vain. You will not be in vain. All the bills I pay. 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 Will not be in vain. Will not be in vain. I profess. I receive it. We will not lose our children. Amen. They will look over us. Amen. They will help us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will drive cars that your children will buy for you. Amen. You will stay in the house your children will build for you. Amen. Your money and your time you have for your children will not be wasted. Amen. Let me hear that amen two times from me. Amen. Amen. You sit there. You sit there. The last one and I close. 
within the family find favor in Christ God intervene when someone find favor in Christ God intervene it's just like the first one but the second one but it's not the same can I tell you something because of your genuity in Christianity, altars can stop working. Uh, you don't understand. Because of your genu genuineness in Christianity, powers in the family can be suspended. Why? Because of one man. When someone is in, is in Christ on fire for God, in the family will stop working. Why? There's a man that have risen in the family. What has been happening before? Whether you pray, you don't pray. Because of the service you have for God. Everything is suspended. If any man be in Christ, it's a new creature. He say, behold, all this has passed away just because of you. All this has become new. Because of you. What has been happening in your family? Just stop. Life change. Why? Because of you. So, if you are in Christ, stay in Christ. If you are born again, be genuinely born again. Don't be there and here. That is why God must intervene in your family. It must be genuine. You say, I'm born again. Be born again. Be genuine. Be genuine. Some of us have put our family in bondage. Why? We are not straightforward. We are not straightforward. That's why the family is still what they are. We are not straightforward. If you are straightforward in Christ, let me tell you, nobody will penetrate that family because of you. Before you try to fight Israel, please first remember that there is a David. Yeah. Yeah. 66 battles. He won all of them. The more they come, the more he killed them. So before you try to stand up, many times Philip stands stood, all of them go down. Why? There is a man in Israel. Can you stand for your family and say, there is, there is a man in my family. I don't know whether you understand. Can you be that man in Christ in your family? Can you be that man that have that faith to change your family? Even to make them to become born again? Can you make them to be in Christ? Can you change your family? Can your light shine in your family? And your life shine before five, your family. Give me Matthew chapter 5. Let me study from verse 13. May pass. Ye are the sort of the earth. For ye are the what? But if the sort have lost the sorrow, where we shall eat the sort? It is therefore good for nothing, but we cast out. Give me 14. Ye are light of the world. A city that is set on an hill cannot be hidden. Give me 15. Neither do men light a what? Candle. And put it under a bush. But on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all 
that are where? Ill. That are where? In the family. Now listen to sister. Let your light. Let your light. So shine. Before what? So it's not for you. I thought I'm teaching good here. Not for only you. Don't say I'm the, I'm the only one shining in my family. I hate to hear it. Have you heard people say I'm the breadwinner of my family? What type of bread have you win? Your mate are building a bakery. You are winning bread. Are you not ashamed? I'm the breadwinner of my family. Don't be a breadwinner. Be a bakery owner so that your brothers can work in your bakery. Now everybody now be bread winner. Everybody now have access to the bread. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah? Let your light so shine before men that they may see your light. They, they, they may do what? They may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. Let your light so shine before men. Not for you. Let it so shine before men. Let people see your light. Let your brothers enjoy it. Let your sisters enjoy the light. Your financial light. Let people enjoy it. Do you understand me? Let your brothers enjoy your money. Don't say I've started business for them for uh, five times. The five times is because the money is too small. Give them money. We know there are people that are wasted. With their wasters, sorry. But you still need to help them. Did you understand me? Let your light shine. So if you are if you are a child of God and you, are, you know you are a child of God, please, that you are born again, let it born inside your family too. Let them take because of you and be born again. Am I talking to somebody here? Let people take because of you and come to Christ. Let people... Take because of the love you are showing to people and do what? And come to Christ. God bless you. You carry me when some carry the ark. Everybody stand up. points you are going to pray. Did you hear me? There's one prayer you are going to pray. Lord, give my family opportunity to become rich. Amen. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Lord, do what? Give my opportunity. Uh, some, some of you, just, you just spoil it. No, no, no. Some people now say, Lord, give opportunity to become rich. That's not what I said. Lord, give my family opportunity to do what? Let me tell you something. If there's anything I hate, I hate poverty. In short, let it at the back of your mind. Poverty is a sin. Yes, Number one sin. And to be poor is a sickness. Let me tell your neighbor, I don't want to beg. I don't want to beg. Up your right hand. Say, Oh God, that answers prayer. Oh God, that answers prayers. Give my family opportunity. Give my family opportunity to become rich. To become rich. To become, to become rich. To become rich. To be blessed. To be blessed. Clap your hand and pray. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
my father's house. You're going to pray, Lord, lift my father's house up. Amen. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Yes, yes sir. sir. They will hear your voice. Oh. Amen. Amen. Say, oh God, I answer prayer. Oh God, I answer prayer. Lift my family up. Lift my family up. Lift my marriage up. Lift my marriage up. Lift my children up. Lift my children up. Lift my father's house up. Lift my father's house up. Clap your hand on father's finger. Discover there are two types of pastor. One is the pastor that is managing. One is the pastor that they call great men of God. God. Is he choice? Yes, sir. So I choose to become a great man of oh. God. Yeah. I choose it. I don't want to be a small pastor that is in one place like that. In the close service, they don't go out, they don't know. No. You know me by fossil. So it's a choice to be small or to be what? To be big. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice to be small. 
So somebody need to come out from your family. Somebody need to be noticeable. Can I tell you something? Do you know you know that there are people they call their name in this beginning? Eh? Everybody stands still. Yes, sir. Eh? They say he came from this family. Eh? Even, even if they do something, police have to call. Oh my god. To tell the person that your brother is here. Because of what? Mighty man of valor. Am I, am I saying the truth here? Yes, sir. God, need, don't tell me that this is not spiritual. My brother, is spiritual. It's spiritual. Because there are so many troubles that are physical. That you need some physical strength yes, to conquer. Yes, so God has to raise mighty men that conquer physical things and spiritual things. There are people when they come up, people bow down. I told you the last time I was coming from Lagos. I entered the aircraft, meeting my spiritual father inside the aircraft. I did not know it was him. But the first thing I noticed that people, the person, the first person that entered, I saw they need, they need down for the, but I don't care. They need down for somebody. And they left. He was sitting on the first row. They left. So I, I did not know it was him because he covered his face and his he wear eyeglass. So when I gave them my, my pass, they now say, okay, city number eight, this way. Seat number eight, this way. And I hold my hand. He remove his globe, the face mask, and the eyeglass. Ha! And myself, I lie down inside the aircraft. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Good morning, sir. Good morning and good afternoon was coming out from my mouth. Yeah. He's a general. Now, person born up. Yes. I'm trying to make sense here. Do you understand? Yeah. Now, person born up. Yeah. Come out in the airport. They, 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 they saw me. Apostle, we know you're an apostle. You know an apostle. May they call your, may, may they call your children too. Amen. May, may your family be recognized. Amen. At a little time, somebody entered the aircraft. I forgot his name. She's a, a she's an actress. Messi Johnson. Johnson, you saw them when yes, we were coming out. Yes, sir. Messi Johnson entered the aircraft. So, you know, I, I was joking with her. I said, I used to see you. He said, I know you. I said, You don't know me. We were just joking. She was sitting in my back. Then, everybody was interested to greet her. Now, person born. Or I raised her hand. They go hear your voice. Yeah. <laughs> They will hear your children's voice. Yeah. They will hear your voice. Yeah. For good, for good. They will hear your children's voice. Yeah. They will hear your voice. Yeah. They will hear your children's voice. Yeah. Your voice will be announced. Yeah. They will watch you on TV. Yeah. They will hear your children's voice. Yeah. Let me hear your voice and thunder. Raise a mega star from my family. Amen. Amen. Is it a sin to pray this prayer? No. Sir. It's not a sin. It can be a prophet. It can be an apostle. It can be a politician. I want to tell you something. There is one man trading all over the internet. His name is uh, Peter Obi. Na person Bonner. Na person Bonner. Everybody love him. You are going to pray. Lord, raise somebody in my house. Amen. Lord, raise somebody in our family. Amen. Lord, raise somebody. If it is you, tell your Lord, raise me. Lord, raise me. Lord, raise somebody. Lift up your voice and pray for yourself.
said, if my people who are called by my name, if they humble yourself and do what? And as we were praying, I saw a Nigerian passport like somebody putting in for, for travel in a visa. But I hear God said, tell this person it is done. Amen. I don't know you, but I heard it too clear. I, I, saw, I saw it too clear. He said, tell it is done. It is done. Amen. Amen. It is done. It is done. Between now and September ending, 
There's a visa, there's a visa in that person's hand. Amen. It is done. Amen. Amen. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Amen. Lift up your hand. I bless you. Amen. May your family prosper. Amen. I prophesy to all of you. I am a service. Poverty shall be far from your family. Amen. May God raise mighty men in your family. Amen. May God raise voice in your family. Amen. May God raise voice in your father's house. Amen. Hey, there's somebody a God I should tell you. He said he will so much bless you that people will depend on you. Amen. I prophesy to you. Amen. Every door that was closed against your father's house, I command all of them to be open. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. There's somebody at the Lord I should tell you. All the problems you are facing in your family have just returned back to your enemies. Amen. I prophesy. I prophesy. Every case that was open against you, fire is hereby closed. Amen. I close the case. Amen. I, I close the case. Amen. As a man of God, I close the case. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I Amen. close the case. Amen. Be free. Amen. 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 Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Quiet. Is there anybody with an international passport, like a green? Is there anybody like that? Lift up your right hand. If you are the person, just come. I will pray with you. Lift up your hand. Say, Lord, Lord, with my hand above my head, with my hand above my head, I stand above poverty. I stand above poverty. I stand above hindrances. I stand above hindrances. I stand above lack. I stand above lack. I stand above disappointment. I stand against disappointment. From today, from today. I will succeed. I will succeed. My children will succeed. My children will succeed. My generation will succeed. My generation will succeed. From today. From today. We will not labor in vain. We will not labor in vain. In Jesus' name. Amen. Be seated. Please, if you have your testimony, please, can you walk down to this place? Where, where are the men of God? If you have your testimony, please meet them there. You have testimony upstairs, downstairs, please. Come and testify. If God have done a great thing, testify. Don't say next Sunday. Next Sunday will be too late. Go and join them then.
It's a wonderful testimony here. Your name and what God did for you. My name is Mrs. Maria Onyenti. I come here, come with all the glory to God of this commission that is too faithful to fail me. For more than five months now, my little children, uh, Brian and Beatrice, they just they cough, they cough, they cough, they cough. One early day like that, I see these children, they know go to school. I see my car, go, carry they go specialist around nine in the morning. Now somebody can't direct me, go in uh, front of a BI, you say, can't go to some place. The woman, they try, where, where they, they, they treat uh, children, where my just carry out, the woman go shake her. I say, okay. I go there, I buy drugs, almost 10,000 yeah, without we'll carrying it to hospital. Because I look at it that time, to go to hospital, come back, time go, don't go for that money. I just buy memories for them, they prescribe some, it's both antibiotics. Now I go, so what will be the problem? I say, ah, the, the problem, uh, you get infection for the cough. So that is why the cough not the response to drugs. After that, still yet, I don't pray put, not to and never do. I don't do the one beside nobody who I never do. If she the cough, she go to jump. But her, but her, she go to vomit every night from 12 o'clock till they break. All oh, bed go full, rag go full. I see what I go do now. See, five months, cough not get go. Now I got, I got to try to answer whether they do test for cough. Somebody say yes. It gets uh, last two weeks on Wednesday. Papa told us, if you don't see they do business, come and come put something for my hand for the season. Because season are from September, now from Nana, we don't enter seasons of uh, business. So I don't get money with me. I said, I wanted to transfer. I can't carry the, I can't carry pen. I can't write an account number. I say, I, I must do transfer. Even not for any reason, for divine intervention, I will do transfer for this one. Since I don't get cash. So as I reach uh, my store, I say, my go my wardrobe, my go carry my ATM. My go to transfer. I don't see ATM. ATM just vanished for nowhere. I find everywhere. I say, I say, that is a liar. Whether the devil like it or not, I'm going to do this transfer. So two days, I find ATM. I don't see it. I say, the devil say, I say, the first time when I make up my mind, I say, I want to do transfer. If I say, the thing when, when they above you, do one. I say, if 
even that money, even though not there above me, there above me, I must do this for Alpha. Two days, I don't see ATM. I go renew the ATM for ring growth, the first bank. So as I do the, uh, uh, carry the new ATM, now I go POS. I say, I bet me not do transfer with this my ATM. I want me, I use this ATM to do transfer because now my business, now that ATM, they receive business. My business uh, 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 alert every day. I say, I want to connect to the grace of this commission. So as I do, the, I come with John, say, uh, unless I withdraw before I feel transfer, so okay, fine. So I can't do the transfer, uh, transfer. Now I say, God, 5,000 naira stand for grace. I say, God, this 5,000 naira, I want to use them to pay my children uh, hospital bill because I don't tire to buy drugs. Enough is enough. I say, I tap for grace of Apostle Toshine Mary. I can't do transfer. I forget about the issue. Can you please say, since even my daughter comes with a plan to carry them for all the day, make the come spend all the day with them. Now I go say, ah, now I go say, if she ever go to that, that place, now the cough go to disturb my daughter. The yes, ah, yes, she go carry the hospital. I say, but God, end this battle for me. Since then, even now, three days ago, now I go to tell my husband, I say, ah, ah. My husband, the yes, she had the cough for night to get the vomit. So meeting. after, after that you, transfer, you do the transfer, after that transfer, after that stuff. transfer, even the nurse went through the last day, may not lead to the pneumonia. So that I uh, know I can spend more than this 10,000 when I didn't complain. Say, tomorrow, not be only that 10,000, more than five months. If I scant the bottles of uh, drill bag, all the cup just what I don't buy for five months, you go full back or back at, at God. But after and, that transfer, and God delivered them. At, after that transfer, the cough just ends like that. Come on, celebrate just Jesus. Ends. Praise the Lord. Lord, and, we thank you. And the second one goes like this. Last year, uh, uh, last week, my do- I see my just called my daughter, my year from her. I say, ah, my daughter, are you there? Say, mommy, I know if you talk to you now. I did for police station. I did police station. Ah, what's it happen? They say one of the cab, cab man, go get accident with car, with your own car. Everything, the, 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 the uh, burning for front, everything scattered. Better to God be the glory. Nobody injured. Nobody wounded. Everything, the, 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 Lord, nobody injured. Lord, we thank you. Nobody lost. So God be the glory. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Who is this God that is too kind? We bind every spirit of sickness within children. That amen is too small. Your name and your testimony. COP. My name is uh, Pastor Nelson Edogare. I want to give all the glory to God for the success of our youth convention. Um, It was challenging coming forth. We we had we had plans. We had um, everything turned out for, but there was a little bit limitations. But I just want to thank God that the week preceding the convention, everything just fell into place. I want to appreciate God for everything that happened, the the teaching, how how the program went generally. We just want to say thank you, Jesus, thank for you, how Lord. you provided for us, how you helped the the weather how people turn up. We just want to say, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Excellent youth. Destiny changers. It was wonderful. Your name and your testimony. Praise the Lord. COP. My name is uh, Miss Indoka Ekele. I'm yet to return all the glory to God Almighty. It wasn't easy, but God made it easy. First of all, I just want to appreciate my father here and my mother. Apostle Dr. Imana Chinemeru. Papa, thank you. Especially my mother. Thank did you. not make me lack anything like I was no, there was no mother, there was no father. The love is too much. I appreciate every one of you. My family and my mother, my in-laws family. God bless you all. Today, I'm dedicating my son today. The journey of nine months ending with praise. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful. Thank you, Celebrate Jesus. Jesus. Ekene is now a mother. Mother Ekene. Small mommy. Please tell us your name and your testimony. COP. My name is Mrs. Blessing Eric. I want to give God the glory for what he has done for me and my family. Last week, I was at home. My auntie daughter brought her home. Seriously, like this, that he carry her. Mama goes, Mama goes, are you there? I say, yes, I'm there. So I now come out with a wrap on my chest and saw my daughter. So if she cannot raise her hands, 
she just like this. So, you know, women, now you know, with that rap, I just carried her. So when I rushed to the road, I saw Keke, now I say Keke. I don't, Keke say, she, you know they go, you know, I say, I bet if you know go now, wait till I want to. I just jump inside the Keke, say, Madam, which direction? I say, no, take me any chemist, any chemist. So when I go, the first one, you know, the second one. So when I saw the chemist, the second one, I don't understand what she is doing. So the third one, will not come back, I hear their voice say, go back for the first one, I met her, come back. So I now tell the Keke, go back for the first one. He said, you sure say you have come back? I said, maybe. So when we get there, she's come back. So when I rush my daughter to her, I now take her. I say, what happened? What happened? I said, I don't know. She threw her on the floor. She did not raise body, nothing. I say, what happened? I said, I don't know. They just brought her in school that she was vomiting yellow, yellow. I said, I don't know. He said, ha, she has vomiting tea. I said, okay, what will now do? He said, we'll give her drip. Drip, I say yes, I saw you start now. He say okay. So she now start the first one, second one had uh, finish. So the third one now say okay, let me rush and go home so that I will wear something for my body because the way I am, I'm not too okay. So okay. So when I go there, I now bring uh, that uh, little shirt of Papa Dad, the one they share, tricot that they share for children. Zion 20. 21. Yes, sir. So when I brought it, I now run and come back. I say, ah, no, sir, half a. He say, no, it don't finish. You know, you know, it's like, say, we'll give her. So I now place call to his father. Father, he say, come, come, come. He say, what happened? I say, this one won't be waiting today. explain for you. Come meet me for this pharmacy. Meet me here. Meet. He come, he come, he come, he come, and I drop the phone. So when I said, the nurse, let me wear her this cloth. The nurse say, wait, till happen. I say, no. And we say, wear cloth. Now I say, this particular one, let me wear for her. He say, okay. So when we are trying to, the thing don't get, I pinch him, he no work. I bite him, he no work. I say, no, this one don't pass. Be careful. So when the nurse now help me now, we now wear the cloth, he remove the drip. We wear the cloth on her, so he now feeds the drip again back. So as he feeds the drip, a minute of that cloth, he now say, <laughs> mommy. So a little time, her father now came. So it's the child that I was calling. She did not respond. So when her father came and called, gift, gift, he said, hmm, daddy, is that you? The father now said, yes. Now I now shout. I said, ah, God, thank you for saving my daughter. I don't know what will become of me if that dark lot is not with me. I don't know what will become of me. Celebrate Jesus. That's why I say thank you, Jesus, for saving my family from shame Lord and we, cry. No, we thank you. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I speak to for every children of City of Peace. We will not lose our children. Amen. There shall be no loss. Amen. This sickness that is moving in the atmosphere, in the air, that is attacking children. Today, hear the voice of the servant of God. Amen. Stop in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I command this weather to change. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. See you, P. COP, my name is Sister Rosemary. I'm a, I'm a nurse. I resumed duty um, three days or last four days back. So I met a woman that was on labor for two days. I went to Ox. A I woman that was on labor, how many days? Two days. Two days. Yes. So we induced her. So the labor wasn't progressing. The first drip of oxytocin got finished. Wanted to replace the second one, she refused. So that was when I called Papa. So I went outside, I called Papa. Papa said I should place my hand on top of the woman's stomach. So when I placed my hand, the labor increased. And to my greatest surprise, she gave birth to a baby boy. I just want to thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Celebrate Jesus. Is that the last one? Lord, we thank you. Stand up. Just begin to appreciate you for these testimonies. 
Lord, we thank you. We give you glory. In Jesus' name. Father, with our testimony, we said we need more. Let these testimonies open doors for people and be a blessing to others. Father, Lord, we thank you that throughout this week, we we'll hear good testimonies. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let me hear hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be seated. If you have your tithe, please come forward. If you have your tithe, please come forward. Everybody stand up with your offering. Stand up with your offering, please. Lift it up above your head. Say, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for last week. Amen. Thank you for blessing us. Amen. Thank you for all you have done. Amen. Take all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. This week, by the reason of the offering in our hands, no weapon for the fashion against us shall prosper. Amen. Lord, we use this offering, we say thank you. Amen. For divine provision, divine preservation, and divine breakthrough. Amen. Thank you. You are always with us. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, my name we pray. Amen.
covenant seed. Lift up your covenant seed. There's one prayer you will pray. Bring it down, son. There's one prayer you are going to pray. There's something happening now we don't understand, but God understands. The way people lost. But thank God it, it can't happen to us. Do, do you see the shrine they found somewhere? In the Kemwa Road. And so many dead bodies inside. As if they are keeping them for, I don't know. We are going to pray. With a sacrifice in your hand. Lord, I will not lost. I will not be kidnapped. I will not, I will not miss road. I will not enter wrong hand. Pray that prayer for yourself. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I decree on you. You will not enter wrong motto. Amen. You will not enter wrong road. Amen. If you enter wrong motto, the engine will knock. Amen. Once you step in, that car will have problems. Amen. I put on you. Hmm. The grace that is on top of a lion. That no animal that dens him. I prophesy. From today. Anyone that think evil against you. Mm. As they mention your name. A lion will appear before them. Amen. Lion of Judah will appear before them. Amen. They will not call us from mortuary. Amen. They will not call us from mortuary. Amen. This week, hospital is not your portion. Amen. Let me hear. But I may not thunder. Amen. Come and drop your sacrifice. I've been around the world. Searching for a miracle. I find no one. Nobody like you.
people you see here, they are from my village. Everybody here, both my mother in law, they here. The one that's in this one is in my wife directly. This one, when I find my wife, I told my mother that I see somebody. He said, I should go and look for the senior sister. Have you heard me talk that story? That's the woman. Then I look for her to their house. Where is after I saw I saw the husband just now. I had come closer. My village people for you. Or we people. Then I now go meet your wife. So I now met them. So I I finally met my wife through them. Because my wife refused to, to, to agree. It was these two people that made them, that made her to agree for me. I will pay your transport 100000 to go home. I don't know you are coming. For coming to church. So these are the people that I made her to agree. She said no. Because she did not see my future. She was seeing me. Uh, like you, you see your boyfriend. He look, he look, he look anyhow. So thank you, two of you, for helping me to get to my wife. Yeah. God bless you and your wife. Our family, they are our family. My, this is my wife family. And this Ekele is from my village. To, yeah, it's a village girl. <laughs> village girl from my village. So our village complete here. So I'm very grateful. Wonderful baby. So we're going to change the song. That was why I stopped it. We're not going to sing Oyoma, Oyoma. We're going to go to Agbo, uh, Eka. So you people are going to play. So that they're with us. No, don't, don't worry. The work woman is a song. The work woman is a song. The work woman is a song. You go and is a song. I 
like it like this. I'm not here again. <laughs> May God be praised. Lord, we thank you. Have I come to the center? Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. May your name be glorified. Can I have oil here? What's his name again? J.D. Nebube. Ndoka. I dedicate you into the hand of the Almighty. You will not die. You will not be sick. You will live above your equals. We dedicate you today in the name of Jesus. That you go high in life. You'll be better than your parents. You'll be better than the generation you met. And your generation will hear your voice. You break records in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever your grandparents pass through, you will not see it. Whatsoever your present parents see, you will not see them. All you will see is the goodness of God. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifested. That he might destroy the works of the devil. I pray for you. This is your purpose. You shall live and declare the glory of God. I dedicate you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit, thank you. I lay hand and say, prosper. Flourish on earth. Do well in Jesus' name. It is done. Praise the Lord. Pushing Pastor Amichi. I said it's not married, he should leave us. Is it true? So, we thank you, people, for coming all the way from Ekanot uh, East. God bless all of you that came to honor our sister and to honor us also. Please, there is a name they, they mentioned today. From the, the elders, the deacons, the deaconess, down to all the HODs, you are all to wait after service. We're having a meeting just now. Please, if you know that you're among people that vowed and you want to fulfill your vow, please come now. Come now because have you seen, have you seen uh, big boards? You have seen big boards. There is fire everywhere in Benin City. September 7 to 11. There is fire in Benin City. And we are welcoming the son of my father, Reverend Fidelis Ayemoba, all the way from Lagos. It's going to be corrosive here. Then my program will be coming up uh, on the 30th and uh, no, on 31st and on the 1st of September. I'll be preaching in Cameroon. I'll be in Cameroon that, that 31st and, uh, and on the 1st of September. So returning from Cameroon is, is the Zion 2020. Tw uh, sorry, 2022. It's going to be more powerful here. So the man of God will be coming. He's so prepared. To come and we are waiting for him so we'll be coming from Tanzania because my father will be having a program in Tanzania so they are leaving to Tanzania as they are coming back so Apostle Professor Joseph Suleiman will be leaving back to uh, Auchi then Reverend Fidelis Ayumoba will stay with us for the program it's going to be wonderful I just love the program that 
my father is too aware of this uh, Zion 2022. I tell you, this is not anything done. I must be blessed. Oh Lord, bless me. Some of you, we have suffered enough. We need God to do what? Say it, Lord. Say it, say it Lord. Lord. Loud, Lord. Lord. In this Zion 2022, In this Zion 2022. Bless, me. bless me. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, begin to take excuses from your, your working place. Tell your boss that there is something coming up. Take your leave on... Uh, Seven till um, till eleven. Yeah, if you are walking anywhere, please begin to make your way, and God will help us in Jesus' name. That amen is not sounding well. Then another another one that there's something God told me. He said, "Listen carefully. Listen quiet." There's something God told me concerning. Uh, Uh, sanctuary keepers. God said, tell your church members on Saturdays that it's going to be blessing people that, that used to come and uh, sweep in my ministry. I had a revelation. He said, tell them that I will be meeting them when they are walking. So you may not be in that uh, department. Please, within this period, down to even December, every Saturday, if there is a prayer you have been praying, eh, leave the prayer. Use the, the cleaning as your, your prayer. You have prayed, it did not work. Come and walk. Did you hear? I heard it too clear. Come and join them every Saturday. Do the cleaning. Do it with all your heart. I saw it. You know when I say something I saw? It's true. I'm not telling you because they lack people. They don't lack people. Though. I saw it. He said, I'll be coming every Saturday to bless people. And I don't know how the blessing will be. But I see God doing what he told me. So on Saturday, make sure you join them. If you're a woman, you're a man, you're a boy, you are praying for something. You don't need hand to be laid on you. I just told you what God told me. Just come on Saturday. Follow them. Do cleaning. Do anything you can do. If it is to clear something, no clear. Just go home. You don't need anybody to bless you, to pray for you. Do it and go. Just try this and I said till uh, December. If you don't have testimony, then you know that I did not hear. You will hear people testifying it from now. I say you will be hearing people testifying from now. Because I heard it. In the name of Jesus. Is there any other information? Huh? Tomorrow? For who? Okay, tomorrow is the last Monday. Okay, praying for power night. Please, all the elders, pastors, head of department. Although we are holding, we have a meeting here now. We are having a meeting now, so we discuss it there. We'll discuss it there in the meeting. So if you know you are among people that vowed, please come and redeem your vow. So that if you are among them, you have not redeemed, please come. Is there anybody like that? If there's nobody, so that I'll close. There's nobody. If you play, you made a pledge. Or you don't transfer. You let us know so that they cancel your, your name there. So that I will not be calling your name. If you have made transfer, you let us know to the glory of God that you have transferred your money. If you have not paid also, please make up your mind and pay your own in due season. Because the whole thing, it's not like even the reason of the, this thing. It's like that is where everybody's money is uh, finished. Because it's a uh, ticket to Benin from Lagos is business class then it's coming to PA PA is a uh, economy economy and business class is 380,000 naira through and flow 
business, cl business class is 240. Then economy is 140. Twelvefold. That is how much? Eh? Then he stays in the, uh, is it Pontiac Hotel? What do they call that? Uh, is it Pontiac or whatever? That is close to police station. Sapelero. Is it Pontiac or Pontiac? Uh, that is the hotel he stays. Pontiac Hotel, 190 is 110,000. So 290 is how much? Eh? 2 220 plus 380. Eh? So all the money you put in is not up to that amount. Now. <laughs> so, so, and I'm paying that one tomorrow by the grace of God. So all I beg you, redeem your own to the glory of God. And what God will do is what? I'll be very happy seeing somebody bless. As God told me, say 2022, I'll bless your church. I want to see somebody blessed. That's what I want to see. To the glory of God. Amen. Please, we know you are a landlord. Come forward. You own a house. Come forward. <laughs> if you don't say you get a house, come. My brother, you won't carry our thing, go village. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> it's for people in Benin. Uh, <laughs> thank you, my silver brother. So, me, me and him married from the same house. So it's my senior brother. What's he called in English? In English. Please hang it in your house, eh? Please hang it in your front. I know when the second one comes out, it never finishes. Just take one so I reach everybody. I say it goes still come out next Sunday. Come, where do you build the house now? I'll never bless them. <laughs> all these, uh, all these uh, daughters of Apostle Malel. God is able to do. That's what he says he will do. If you know you get shop in a very good strategic place, come and take. I know your store. Put them front. Knock and for up. Everybody they see and there. If your shop they inside inside, although you don't they finish up. He don't do no company, may you clear it. I give you a more. Okay, we we'll wanna wait. We we'll wanna wait. We we'll wanna wait. Wait first now. You know be shop. I know. <laughs> no, no. Your house the your house today inside. Uh, wait, my give uh, no hold don't worry, we'll give you another day. The Kentony they go. You don't finish, have you? Don't on your own. I'm going to come next Monday. Don't worry, on Sunday, on Sunday. On Sunday. When I will say market. So place it there to the glory of God. Please, I want to say something before I close. If you're on Facebook, how many of you are on Facebook? How many of you on Facebook? If you're not on Facebook, you know that... Uh, you need deliverance. 
You're not on social media. If you're on social media, you raise your hand. Eh? Anyone? Please. Go to our page or you go to my Facebook. Copy and uh, do what? And paste. Or you share. Did you hear? Okay, stand up. I'll help you do something now. now. Stand up so that I'll close. Bring out your phone. Grab your phone. Bring out your phone. Just bring out your phone. Stand up now. Let's close. Stand up. Stand up so that I'll have a meeting with people I want to have a meeting with. Are you tired? You don't have phone, you. Where is it? It's at home. It's a spiritual phone. Look for it if you are on phone. Look for it. Make sure you share. Make sure you do what? Share. Share. To the glory of God. Share. Make sure you share. Make sure you share. That is the only way you can publish it. And as you are doing it, you are partnering with God. You are doing evangelism. It's not until you went and you go and tell people, please start off, let's close now. No, no, say, I, I shall be talk too much. So that I will close. Father Lord, thank you. This week, Somebody here, you meet an angel. Yeah. You will meet who will help you. Amen. You will meet who will help you. Amen. You will meet who will bless you. Amen. This week. Is the camera with me? This week. You will meet who will bless you. Amen. You will meet who will favor you. Amen. This week, you will meet what will make you smile. Amen. This week, the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Amen. This week, sickness shall be far from you. Amen. Where stars will not see you. Amen. I can sow accident. Amen. I can sow accident. Amen. I can sow accident. Amen. I release for one person here good news. Amen. Good news. Amen. Good news. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My head. My head. You will not die. You will not die. My eyes. My eyes. See the glory of God. See the glory of God. My ear. My ear. Hear good news. Hear good news. My mouth. My mouth. Testify. Testify. My hands. My hands. Handle my miracles. Handle my miracles. My legs. My legs. Take me to the place of my breakthrough. Take me to the place of my breakthrough. Don't take me to where I will die. Don't take me to where I will die. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Honor my step. Honor my step. Somebody hit your leg. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Honor my step. Honor my step. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Honor my step. Honor my step. I pray for somebody here. You receive it. In any of your movement this week, may you see vision before you go out. Amen. I release anointing of signs and wonders. Amen. May God give you 